All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, light backpacking sleeping pads for large people. And the reason I have this horrible video quality, bad lighting, high angle is so that you can see all of a big person. If you're a big person, you know you don't fit in cars. Everything is not your size. It's impossible to find stuff that's comfortable. And the same applies to backpacking. So I'm just going to give you a little history of uh, sleeping pads that I've used and then right now I'm searching for a new one um, and I have them here so I want to show them to you and show me lying down in them so you can see what it's like for someone my size. I am six foot five or six depending on whatever's going on and uh, about 220 and uh, been you know it's a constant struggle to try to find something that's comfortable to take light backpacking or ultra light backpacking. So when I started years and years ago probably 20 plus years ago this is a Thermarest self-inflating pad um, and it is 25 inches wide and only about an inch, uh, thick, inch and a half maybe. So back then, because my shoulders are so broad, my, I'm a back sleeper and a side sleeper in the back country. So my, I can't stand it when I'm sleeping on my back and my elbows fall off the pad. But if it's only an inch thick, there's not very far to go to the ground. So it doesn't put you in that uncomfortable of a position. Whereas some of these newer pads that are three, four inches thick, you're really falling all the way off the pad with your elbows. And I'll discuss that in a second. So this is where I started. Um, then a bunch of years ago, I upgraded to this, the Neo Air when it came out. Super light. This is the Neo Air Trekker. I think this is 24 ounces. It's a very tall pad, 78 inches. So it's tall enough for the whole length of me, uh, 25 inches wide. They didn't make a 30 inch wide pad, but for a long time, I really coveted a 30 inch pad that my elbows would fall off of, even though it's a shame to carry all that extra weight for just an elbow. Like the rest of your body doesn't need 30 inches wide, just your elbow. Be like, they should make a pad that's shaped like this. But anyway, so my wife and I were also looking for a more comfortable car camping option. So a bunch of years ago, we got these, uh, this is the 30 inch wide Neo Air Dream. And what it is, is it's a soft cloth covering with a NeoWear inflatable pad inside and then a layer of one inch memory foam. So you've got the memory foam, then you've got the inflatable pad and uh, the enclosure. It packs down pretty small and it is supremely comfortable. I don't know what the equivalent is these days to this, but this is like game changer for car camping. Just so comfortable. Uh, and so we still use these. We have two kids now. We absolutely love these. Uh, she has a 25 inch wide one. This one is 30 inches wide. So what I did for a while is I took the inside of this out and, and brought in backpacking because it's 30 inches wide. Excuse the noise. Because it's 30 inches wide and it's super tall. And obviously it's huge, and obviously it's very heavy. I think it's 37 ounces, as opposed to the green one, that's 24 ounces. Well, where we hike in mostly in the California Sierra Nevada, above 9,000 feet, uh, it's cold. And the problem with this inside is it's an R value, I think, of two or less. I think this is 2.5 uh, R value. So this was not warm enough. And to then have to carry this with a foam pad underneath it, you know, something like a Z light layered underneath it to make it warm. Now you're, that's just like ridiculous amount of weight. It's like you're no longer light backpacking. You may as well still be in the nineties. Uh, so this 30 inch pad was great, but it's just too much to carry, especially now because I have a five year old and a one year old. So my wife carries the one year old and the gear and I carry, all the other gear. So my wife carries like 30, I think the last trip we did was like, she was at 37 pounds with the kid in gear. I was at like 45 pounds. And that's in the Sierra when there's like, we're only carrying two liters of water between the four of us. Um, my five-year-old hiking with his own pack now. And so it's like, it's not a lot of water weight either. Two days worth of food. Anyway, so I'm trying to slim it down and I've started looking at new pads. And of course, just like when you have a new car after five or ten years you're like amazed at the technology so uh, what I have here today is the Nemo tensor which is very popular and highly reviewed um, and the C to summit etherlight XT 
and the Thermarest X-Therm. So back when I got this green Thermarest Neoware, they had this in a mummy size. And the problem was being a large person, when you just are laying on your back, this is where you rest. And my feet would fall off the mummy. You can see the mummy cut of the Neowares is much thinner than in other mummy cuts. Like this is a mummy cut from Sea to Summit and it's much thicker at the foot box. So when you're tall like me and you're using every single inch of a long pad, again, I'm six foot five, six foot six, uh, if you're using every other every inch of it, by the time your feet get to the bottom, it's the therm rests are not very wide. Um, also, I didn't I didn't look at the X light um, because this the weight is for like four more ounces. You get like five times the warmth. I mean, this this is the X therm is you know legendary for how warm it is. And so my thought was, if I went with the X therm, I could cut down on other gear. I could bring uh, a lighter sleeping bag or less clothing to sleep in. Um, usually in the Sierra, it's, you know, 60s, 70s during the day and 30s, 40s at night. Um, so that's kind of where, where what I'm dealing with in terms of comfort level. I've got a 10 degree down quilt from Enlightened Equipment. And that's been a little bit warm, honestly. It's only on the coldest nights that I really felt like I needed that plus all my clothes. Um, so personally, I, didn't, I don't think I need the warmth of the Xtherm. I don't do any winter camping, uh, especially with kids. We did that once. Uh, with my five-year-old when he was one and it got down to the teens in the tents and it was a long night We were like are we gonna win a Darwin Award here for bringing our child to 12,000 feet? This was up Bishop Pass Trail um, Out of South Lake near Bishop, California. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so the X-Therm the problem is the mummy shape my feet fall off the sides and So what I did is I went with a rectangular shape When I got this pad so this pad is still this pad is still good. This pad is still legit um, it's not that warm. Our, our value, I think, is 2.4, and so um, and the weight is 24 ounces. And so I'm looking for something lighter and warmer. And both the Nemo Tensor, uh, all three of the pads I just mentioned, are both lighter and warmer. I'm not going to bother you with specs. You can look that stuff up. This is really about how do you how does a big person fit on these pads? So I'm going to adjust the camera angle, and I'm going to talk a little bit more as I show you that. All right, how are we doing? Good? All right. So, first I'll show you, well, just for fun, three quarter, uh, three quarter length mat that I started out with 20 plus years ago from Thermarest. And like I said, my arms would fall off, but it's just not that far to fall. It's like, so your arms could rest on the ground, unless you're on granite or something, and it's pretty comfortable. Um, but as a side, when you slip onto your side, it's, it's horrible because you're bottoming out on your shoulder and on your hip. So there's a reason that technology advances. So that one's out. So the next one I'll show you is the 30 inch. So again, this is like, this is luxury. This is why when we car camp, or what we often do is we drive up to the Sierra we spend a night at elevation above 6,000 feet so that our body starts to acclimate and makes the next day hiking in way better. So we'll drive up, camp at a campground like Gray's Meadow or somewhere high, and then we'll enter the next day. So for car camping, this in the Neoware Dream is just amazing. Both my arms are on the pad. I mean, my legs, my whole body's on the pad. It's fantastic. For side sleeping, it's great because it's nice and thick but it's not warm and it's not light. And those are two things that I would like when I'm in the back country. So, now we have this guy, which I got. So this is the 25 inch wide, long from Thermarest. The length is great, but both my elbows fall off when I'm on my back. Just slide right off. It's slippery, there's no dimples to hold them in, they just slide right off. So if I'm on my side, not a big deal. It's pretty comfortable, nice and thick. Our value is adequate, 2.5. But on my back, it's been bad. So 
what I've actually been doing when I don't want to carry that weight is I'll have like a Z-Rest sit pad or like if you get the X-Pad air pillow regular, it's like 1.7 ounces and you can blow that up or fold up uh, whatever other foam thing you have or even some clothes and give your elbow a little shelf. So when you're sitting, I shimmy to the side so this elbow stays on and then this elbow has a little shelf here. Everything else is supported. And that's what I've been doing as like a, a temporary fix, if you will, or a fix when, you know, it's just, no one makes pads that are wider than 25 inches and are lightweight. Um, Climate makes some, the Climate Lux and the Lux SL are like 30 inches wide or 27 inches wide. And I tried them and I don't find the Climate design with those V shapes very comfortable. Um, and they're pretty heavy. So that was a solution I was using for a while and I may continue to use. Now let's get into the meat of it. V3. So here is the Thermarest X Therm. This is the, the long version. And you can see I, I'm just I'm just big enough for it. But what happens is in the night, this toe box, like when I'm just standing, my stance is wider than the end of the pad. So these feet fall off, these elbows fall off. Again, I could use some kind of elbow pad here and shimmy over. It would work, it's fine, it's okay. Side sleeping, fine, okay. Um, but other negatives to the thermorest are that it's very noisy. And uh, my wife and I you know, share the tent, she's a tosser and turner, so am I, it's noisy. Uh, also, haven't found, this is not as comfortable as the next two pads, I will tell you about just straight up. But again, the R value is off the charts. The weight is really nice. Um, so let's go to the Nemo. So this is the Nemo Tensor. People have complained uh, that it's prone to poking, uh, getting holes in it. And so it uses really lightweight material. With two kids, that makes me a little nervous. Uh, I have, this is not a long-term review of these pads. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm just showing you what it's like to be six foot five and try to find a sleeping pad that's lightweight. Uh, so this is the Nemo Tensor. This is the regular, so 72 inches long. And depending on what you're comfortable with, my heels are just over the edge. Again, six foot five. My head is, no, that's the other pad. My head is okay. I really need to be down a little bit more. So my heels are off, but they wouldn't be touching the ground necessarily. Um, I find this baffle design of the Nemo more comfortable than the Thermarest. The R value is not the same as the x -Therm, of course, and I still have to do that thing. My, my, my elbows are still off the edge. So I still have to do a thing where I have some sort of platform for this elbow when I'm sleeping on my back. I've tried like holding my hands here. I've tried like putting my hands in my pocket to hold them in. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a journey, um, but it's a little bit short. They have a long version that's four inches longer. That's the version I would get if I was gonna get this pad. Side sleeping, this pad is more comfortable than the thermal rest for sure. Um, yeah, I would recommend this. The worries I have are the fragility of the material and uh, it doesn't win for me because of the next pattern. This is the Sea Summit uh, Etherlight XT. And this, I think it's because of the design of the baffles, the way they have uh, basically square cells instead of horizontals. But this is supremely comfortable. This is the most comfortable of the bunch by far. And surprisingly, my elbows do not fall off. I don't know if it's a little bit wider. I don't know if it's because there's a little dimple right here and my elbow can sit right in it and then be sort of cradled in, but my elbows don't fall off this pad, which is incredible. Um, for a 25 inch sort of normal width pad, the length is perfect. Again, six foot five, the length is great. Um, the pad is super comfortable. It's four inches thick. Uh, it's great for side sleeping. There's no bottoming out of me when you're 220. Like, your hip is always <laughs> close to the ground. And uh, my shoulder often hurts when I sleep on my side because there's so much weight crushing it. Uh, but this pad is fantastic. Um, 
So I'm pretty sure this is the pad that I'm going to be going with. Uh, but I wanted to show people these pads. If you're a big, big person like me, I would say big guy or girl. There aren't as many women that are as tall as me. But hey, WNBA players, take, take notes. Um, so this is what I'm going to be going with. My elbows don't fall off, which means I don't have to do this thing. If I found that like they were falling off, I could always do this thing that's kind of like going to have to happen anyway. But the pad is just excellently comfortable. Um, they all have, you know, back in the day when no one had these uh, blow up, these, what do you call them, pump sacks that come with it, where you blow the air into it from far away, it sucks as you roll it up, push it in. Those were great. I just blew all these up with that. But before that, pump sack weighs about two ounces. This little tiny thumb rest battery operated pump also weighs two ounces. So that's what I used to bring for this because again, as a big person with a big pad, you could, after hiking, you know, at 11,000 feet, you're gonna huff and puff for 10, 10 minutes to get this thing filled through your own lungs. So the pump sacks are great. Um, these little air pumps are great. You can actually, you can get, there's a mini pump on Amazon if you just search like mini air pump. Um, it weighs like 2.5 ounces or something and it'll fill up most of these pads if you don't wanna bring the pump sack. Good thing about the Etherlite XT C to Summit is that the pump sack is also the stuff sack, whereas like the Thermarest, the pump sack, and the stuff sack are different. Same thing with the Nemo. Um, but so there you have it. That's my basic, quick-ish rundown. I guess I can't stand up and talk to you. Um, but after my uh, testing these pads against each other, the I'm six foot five, two twenty. For me, the Thermarest is just too narrow in a mummy style. I would have to get a square Thermarest pad. Also, the Thermarest is noisy. Also, the Thermarest I don't find as comfortable as the Nemo Tensor or the Sea to Summit uh, Etherlite XT. The Nemo Tensor would have been right up in the running, but uh, I also, I kind of wanted a mummy bag and, and I wouldn't have to get this in a rectangular long. Um, they might have a long mummy, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but the fabric being more fragile steered, steered me away of this, and it's just not as comfortable as the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT. So Etherlite XT is what I'm going with. I got this one for me, and I've got uh, one on the way in the women's for my wife. And that's also something to note, to note that Sea to Summit has women's versions of pads which are warmer. My wife is always cold. I mean, we live in Southern California where it's always warm and she's still always cold. So I was actually looking to get her the X-Therm because it's so warm, but she also agreed that this is much more uh, comfortable. So she's gonna have a women's version of the Etherlite XT, which has an R value slightly more. I think this is 3.2, that's 3.5, something like that. But she also found it to be supremely comfortable. So if you're a big dude like myself and you're looking for a lightweight sleeping pad, uh, I can highly recommend the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT. In terms of fit, again, this is not a long-term review. I'm not a through hiker. Uh, I'm a weekend hiker, but I like to go ultralight. Now that I'm older, I just, I don't want to be carrying as much. Um, and so, you know, there's a balance. I'm also not ultralight. Like I'm not going to sleep on a Z-Rest anymore. You know, like I did that when I was a camper in, in, in high school in the nineties and I'm not, I'm not into that. I want my comfort. And so uh, this is kind of a perfect balance. I think it weighs close to 20 ounces, maybe 22, something like that. It's comfortable, I fit on it. It's lightweight, it's quiet, boom, done. So that's what I got. Hope that helps some other big people out there. Uh, shout out to all you tall people. Keep fighting the good fight.